We all lost everything. Everything but our stories. And they shouldn't be forgotten. I was three. It was April of 1983. Cecil, it was 1870 for you. Sam and Vera, you tell it like it was yesterday, but it's been 62 years since you saw that last of light. where all of our new stories began. It streaked across the sky, mesmerizing, but unnerving. Even in daylight, Joseph, you said, was gloriously bright. But in the twilight, it was spellbinding. Whether it was in the deep woods like Cecil or right outside town like Jane and Jenny, we were drawn to see more. Vera, you said you recall smiling. Some of you were alone. I wasn't. My dear grandma, God bless her, rejoiced as if some forebearer of good fortune. Grandma lifted me from the carriage on the porch and walked into the yard so we could watch it unobstructed. turning away. It advanced, almost like purposefully spinning slowly until, well, found us, each of us. We should tell these stories because it, it saved us and 